Offerings is a short by Shane Bannon posted on the Alter YouTube channel, a place dedicated to making short horror films, although I hesitate to label this one as horror, it's more disturbing and creepy. I still found myself enjoying it enough to dissect it here, as it did a great job at making me feel queasy towards the end and creeped out about what forces drove the characters to do what they did. It opens up with a shot of what I can only assume is a repurposed bird bath with sand in it filled with polished rocks containing the words like courage, laugh, strength, charity, truth. The kind of stones you'd find Etsy for $5. Then cuts to a woman preparing some crab on a really nice dish while sparing a glance at her neighbors with a far larger rock pile before taking the dish to some room with some trepidation in her actions. Later that night she's having sexy times with her husband and she really isn't into it at the moment, instead asking if they could do it in the offering room. They haven't exactly been receiving many gifts from the gods and she is wondering what more can be done to please them better and receive more for their devotion. Although her husband says that such a drastic measure could do more harm than good. And she acquiesces, yet unsure as to what she's doing wrong, she enters the room late at night and at first gives her praises to the gods. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I'd have nothing if it weren't for you. And she straight up just starts masturbating in there as an offering to them. Although all she gets in return is undistinguishable muttering and whispering as the minuscule light around her fades away. Perhaps the gods showcasing their displeasure with her in the face of her appreciation and claims of gratitude. Which gets confirmed the next morning when her gift pile is completely devoid of any stones and she despairs over her inability to do anything right despite her devotion and care to each offering. Even asking her husband afterwards, Do you hate me? Why not? Why would hate me? What can I do? Not the right question from him as she believes herself to be at fault for their lack of gifts, feeling inadequate, as it seems like the gods are displeased with her specifically and she cannot think of a way to rectify or even understand how she screwed up so badly, heading out to just prepare the next offering and staring angrily at the neighbor's bountiful gift pile. And I just wanted to say that if you're feeling angry or sad or just lost in thought about something, don't go cutting vegetables or meat or anything to do in the kitchen in general. I think you shouldn't be distracting yourself when handling something sharp and cunning away at something you are handling at the same time. Blood gets all over the potato, although instead of just cleaning it up, she gets a thoughtful expression, putting it into the pile with the rest of the peeled potatoes and then a single gift appears on a pile with the word hope in the next scene. With her husband coming over, telling her that he said everything would be alright, they're getting gifts once more and... You hurt yourself? nothing. And as soon as he leaves, she picks up a grater and has this look on her, like she knows what has to be done. And then we're shown gifts showering over the pile and that's all the confirmation anyone needs to know what the gods want. That night, the husband wakes up alone and finds her in the offering room. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is a peeler. Hey. Yeah, just casually walk up to your wife while she's peeling bits of her own flesh off. Here. You try. Where? Wherever you want. I don't like how she smiles when she says that. Oh my god, <laughs> that escalated so quickly. Well, they end up getting all the stones they wanted and get a pretty big pile from it. Uh, you know, standing a bunch of injuries as a result and there's the uh, 
Neighbors, too. Oh, wow. I personally would not classify this as horror. It made me feel uncomfortable and disturbed, but it didn't horrify me until the very end where you see the neighbor's husband missing an eye and just wonder how far they're going to have to go to push this because the food offering worked for a time, but then the gods wanted blood. We already see the lengths she's willing to go through to receive validation from them, Yet it doesn't work until she and her husband give up literal pieces of themselves and enjoy doing so to receive what's needed to feel whole again? I can't help but wonder if this is an allegory about living today. They have a great house in the suburbs and a good relationship, yet what exactly do they have to sacrifice to maintain this lifestyle? How much sweat and or blood do they need to give up devoting their time and attention to work just to make ends meet? where the inability to get a promotion or pay raise in this economy could mean disaster for many. How far does one need to push themselves to stand out and be considered devoted and exceptional enough to receive the gifts from higher ups that they need to maintain their position within the status quo of society? Whether that's true or not, I would like to hear your own thoughts like this in the comments. This was effective in making me squirm during the cutting scene specifically and gives up this creepy vibe throughout the whole film. I don't know who this Shane Bannon is, but I am actually looking forward to whatever works he has on Alter now. If you like this video and new to the channel, click that like button and comment your thoughts down below. Head over to check out my other horror reviews, video essays, music analysis, complex character series, and overanalyzing Sharon the Princesses of Power. You might find them enjoyable as well, and consider subscribing for more content like this to come.